Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I know you thought that I wasn't really alive there a second ago, but the screensaver was moving, so you know I was alive, or at least breathing, or, or not dead sitting here. I'm live, uh, but uh, I, I usually have to wait when I start the broadcast because I'm not sure if it's really going, and then I can keep going when I know it's going, and it is going. Uh, and welcome, Steel Horseman. Steel Horseman is one of those who uh, tunes into my daily live broadcasts on Star Wars Radar. I've got a, a Star Wars talk show every day, every evening, chatting about Star Wars discoveries and what's on my radar, what's on your radar. And as of late, I've been posting a lot of Star Wars videos in this channel because that's me, and that's one of the things that I love. Uh, another thing that I happen to love is a, a good technology experience, and that, <laughs> that's that been, I'm not going to say elusive for a number of years, and, and many of you know my opinion, uh, opinions on, on, on these t uh, topics, uh, and by the way, thank you VT Productions PC for tuning in. Um, there's a reason I like talking about Star Wars, and not just because, uh, you know, what I do every day is I work for Intel, specifically with Intel Graphics, helping them build their community. Uh, we're on an Odyssey. Uh, if you want something out of your uh, GPU from Intel, you let me know. I'll facilitate the feedback, try to close that feedback loop. We're listening, and then it's basically my job to listen to what you want. And that's actually, it's, it's pretty nice uh, to, 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 to be in that particular position as a community advocate. So I don't cover technology as much, because, you know, there could be a potential conflict of interest. And I, I certainly don't want to do that. But I did get permission uh, specifically to talk about this smartphone. And, and I'm kind of happy to. A, a couple of years ago, when I was really having problems with the, the direction of iOS, uh, I mean, really, and I think that started with the notch. Uh, <laughs> I still laugh when I see it on phones. I, I, just, I can't help myself. I'm just like, Okay, if if it's for you, I'm not. Who am I to say? You know, it's it's not my thing. I mean, I can't slag somebody else for their for, for their thing. Uh, but many people that 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 have followed me uh, for for a number of years, uh, not just for the topics I talk about, but I mean me, like get to know me. Uh, you know, as as a Star Wars fan, not just someone who uses technology like every other person on the planet. Uh, you know what my preferences are. And so many people have recommended uh, that I, I look into OnePlus, and this was it was it was a possibility, and and, and I, I was certainly interested, but there was always something that that kind of pulled me back from going too deep into you know looking at that as an option, not because of the way that OnePlus has typically approached its devices, and I would say holistically, and this is to to OnePlus's credit, holistically. Looking at not just this this piece of uh, uh, technology is this. Look at the hardware. Look 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 at the hardware. Look look at the back. How it shines and this case and how it's it's smooth and and, and the bottom how it has how it has a port and the top and how it has a, a hole. <laughs> I I I tend to look past a lot of that. Tend to not always. Uh, but but I I look towards those overarching experiences. I'm looking for a good experience. And that is never, never wrapped up simply in what the hardware is. That, to me, the hardware, I would say, for me, this is the case, I mean, I've, n I've not been silent about this. Like, people know. Like, this is me. Hardware is 25% of the proposition, for me. 75, I would say, is on the software side of things. I'm a so I just... I'm always going to be a software guy. So I don't talk about smartphones. I never really did. <laughs> I don't do reviews outright. But people would push me specifically to look at uh, the OnePlus because they knew the type of person I am and, the, and, and that I was, that I will likely always be. I don't think anything's going to change that. Um, I made it this far north of 40. I, those certain things are not going to... Suddenly, I'm not, I'm not going to wake up tomorrow. You know what? I'm a gadget guy. It's just not going to happen, right? It'd be like waking up one day and saying, you know what? I'm a Star Wars fan. No, I've always been one. So, uh, you know what? I think I, I think I like toys. No, I always did. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be putting together a Lego set this weekend. Uh, but one thing I will not be doing, this is kind of a spoiler alert, is, is using the OnePlus 
7 Pro. Did I get that right? It's got like 14 letters in it, 14 words. One plus 7 Pro. Okay, I did get it right. <laughs> Dodged a bullet. Uh, I also have to say, uh, but thank you to Des over at T-Mobile for passing this along. It's not even a review unit. I said, well, I'm not sure if I could review it, and I'm not really a good reviewer. He says, no, 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 it's yours. Here, have it. We just unboxed it. Like this is so. This was I couldn't do an official unboxing. Here, have it. Take it. You know. I'm like, okay, sure. I'd be happy to look at it. I always wanted to look at it. I want to see what was up. Um, so I'm happy to say that uh, OnePlus exists. I'm happy to see that it's available at the price point or price points that it is. I'm happy to say that I think their head is in the right space as far as making an Android experience is concerned. I, I do. And that's the truth. And I cannot say that in 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 in, in, in my own in my from my perspective, like I want something that is just clean and uncluttered and polished and just it, it it's it's it just it, it it's it's a good experience. And that to me, anytime you have like a foundational layer that has so much experience baked into it, and you try to place experience on top of that, when the two work together, it's great. But when they conflict, it's just it's jarring. And and, and I can't I cannot overstate just how much performance has been lost with third party overlays or you know an OEM possibly thinking that they're making a better experience and it may look good but it doesn't run well and, and and there's there's often that disconnect and that I find myself basically in that chasm so with with this device um, the, the, uh, there are, uh, there's a lot a lot that I like about this device but one thing one thing keeps me from using it and it's it's kind of sad because what I love about it I can't really get in too many other ways. Uh, the the uh, 90 uh, uh, 90 frames per second, 90 uh, 90 hertz uh, refresh rate on the screen. So it's 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 smooth, it's fast. It's got a processor that you know is is, is powerful. It's got enough RAM, so it's speedy. It, it's it's <clears throat> it's snappy. Uh, the screen is is clean. I love the built-in fingerprint reader. I mean that's it. I mean I. I hope it works. I mean, it, obviously it works, but I mean, I hope it's everything it should be in terms of what a fingerprint reader has been in the past. Uh, I can't imagine it not being. Uh, I, I even got to tell you, the, the, the front-facing camera little pop-up thing doesn't bother me that much. So if, if I double tap to open up the camera, uh, double double tap to you know flip around, you know flip the camera around. Did you see what happened? So let me double, double tap again. Watch up there. It's a mechanical uh, selfie cam. And, you know, at a distance, I'd be like, what? But I think to myself, well, how often do I use that selfie cam? And is there is there any other reason I might need to have, uh, you know, that, that, that the, the front-facing array of sensors? There's is a possibility, uh, you, know, you know, whether it's like a face ID type of system, um, you know, like a wide-angle lens rather than just a standard lens. I mean, there, there are a lot of reasons to have... That, that kind of area cut out, so to speak, the cut out at the top of a smartphone screen. But, you know, I think for average selfie stuff, I think that it's workable. That's something that I thought could be, it was concerning, like mechanical. Well, there's a lot of things that could go wrong with it. But I, that, I think, well, what's my use case? Would I, would I use that? And I would, but not specifically the way that it's been, a, not specifically this type of selfie cam. And I'll get to that in, in a second. So... As I mentioned, it is is snappy. Um, the screen, it, it, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, you could tweak the colors seven ways from Sunday. It's responsive. Uh, it, it's I'm not gonna say it's difficult to go from this screen to another one, but like once you go from 90 to 60, I'm not sure you can. I mean, you can see the difference, and it, there is a difference. And I would much prefer, well, 120, give it to me. Uh, I'd much prefer 90 over 60, but it only tells part of the story. It only it would only get me that far. And as much as I, I think that's a critical part, um, it, it, there's one thing. One thing. It, and the, honestly, the one thing I'm talking about wouldn't necessarily keep me from recommending this phone. It just keeps me from wanting to use it. Like on a regular basis to be a daily driver. Uh, I also happen to love the the, the the flourishes, if you will, not stylistic flourishes, but um, 
a feature implementation and, and uh, feature direction that OnePlus has taken uh, with, within Android. Like, they've added things that um, are, are annoying in Android, but they fixed them in in a way that you wouldn't know it didn't it didn't it wasn't a part of Android. Like the, that's the the general software experience of the OnePlus phone general has been non um, non conflicting, uh, optimized for performance, designed well enough. I wouldn't use this launcher. I'd flip the action launcher every time. It is my go-to launcher. I know everyone's like, oh, oh go go with the uh, go with the uh, 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 not rocket launcher. What am I thinking? You know, you know the one everyone likes. Uh, is it, is it um, um, Nova? Why was I thinking X V? Nova launcher. I don't like Nova launcher. I'm an action launcher guy. I, that's it's it's that or nothing uh, for me. Uh, I just action launcher is just so much better. Um, but I would likely swap that out. So some of the launcher things that I ran into, I wouldn't necessarily be phased by because it's easily you know augmented, and I, I've been kind of used to that particular uh, uh, approach to operating my uh, my particular device. Um, but. It, it's 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 snappy with updates. Like I just installed a new update now. Uh, you know they're they're probably going to be rolling out Q. Uh, I think they've they rolled out Android, uh, or I'm sorry, Q beta two to OnePlus devices. I don't have the beta I installed on this one because uh, it's kind of a kludge of a process. You got to connect it that I know of. You can't do like an OTA update. But uh, either way. They're, they're sort of they're staying up on updates. So a lot of the complaints that people have had about Android, I think, honestly, I think are addressed. Very well by OnePlus. Uh, you know, another thing that you know may not mean much to you, but I think to anybody else, I really like the fact, and I wouldn't use it necessarily, but they've got like a community app built in, like a community app about this device. And this is, like I said, this is where the scrolling and, and the refresh rate really shine. Like, oh man, it's just fluid. It's just so clean. It's just, it's nice. Uh, and, and that's something that, you know, I've had that kind of experience-ish. It could always be better, right? And that's the beauty of the technology. It's it's always getting better, always getting, always improving, right? Um, just like Star Wars. <laughs> Some people disagree with that, but you know, with technology, it's always marching forward. So, pardon me, I'm sipping some of my grape juice plus. Uh, you know, I, I can't say that I've necessarily, you know, run the battery through its paces. Um, you know, I, I guess in terms of my average use, battery has never been an issue for me. And, and maybe it's just the way I've always used my devices over the years. Uh, I don't tax them. I don't, um, I don't stare at them all day long. I don't watch movies on them necessarily. Uh, I don't game on them. Although, I will tell you that if I was looking specifically to, to game... On an Android device, I, I'd probably go with the screen. I, I'd probably go with this device more so than than uh, my daily. I would use this as a dedicated gaming device. I'm considering it. I don't have a lot of you know apps, uh, games necessarily. Um, I don't. Uh, I, I've been waiting for an update to Tetris for some time. And the good news, Doctor Mario is going to be released for both iOS and Android soon. I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, I'm a casual gamer in that sense, a uh, retro gamer really. Uh, you know, but. Uh, sorry, I was checking something. Um, the uh, my wife and I are in constant contact. The uh, it's, we're sewn together like mentally. She's are you talking about Star Wars again? No, she didn't say that. But by the way, I, I have to I have to tell you, I went to a a, a local mixer for uh, Seattle online broadcasters. Someone gave me he he makes he didn't know who I was, but she, he he has a website. He did a, a, like a content series like shut up about Star Wars. I, I laughed. I said, you know, I don't hold on to many business cards, but I'm holding on to that one. Um, I'm sure the Star Wars app runs very well on this. I haven't gone too far into customizing it. Um, but it, it's it's ample. I, th I think it's priced right. I think it for 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 Android, most people's need for a smartphone, I think it, it would serve them well. I would have very little hesitation in recommending. I think it's a flagship experience without a flagship price and you know for for more than the average users i think it's it's a fantastic replacement for what they may be used to if they've used android devices so i'm not uh, this is not an admonishment just because i don't want it doesn't mean it's a horrible thing right i mean i don't i just don't believe that there aren't i don't think there's any well there's some horrible devices out there but just because it's not for me doesn't mean it's not for everybody
And I think a lot of people who talk about technology take the approach like, it's not for me, therefore it's not for everybody. And they screw this up. And I believe they could screw some things up, but I'll give you an example of that. Um... The notch, right? It's not for me. They got around it. There's no notch because they, you know, they baked the fingerprint system into the into the screen. Done it, did it very well. Uh, they accommodated the selfie camera at the top. Um, it, that's not a bother, and they they've effectively given you a by and large a full screen experience. Um, you know, but since I'm not an audiophile, I can't say that the speakers necessarily were good or bad. I mean, they were speakers. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, in terms of uh, like a device that's usable, I believe it's more than um, more than ample to the to, to the average person looking for an Android experience. I'm not necessarily going to go as far as to say as it beats the Pixel, uh, and I hesitate to draw too many comparisons because maybe I'll save that for another video. Um, but it, it's it, I would say it's on par for different reasons. Um. And I think Google's going to continue with the Pixel 2. I don't, despite having just recently dropped the idea of, 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 of tablets, um, Google, they're still going to do like laptop form factors, just not touchscreen, large touchscreen devices like tablets. I, I think OnePlus is definitely, is de definitely deserves more attention than it gets and is on the right track for a consumer oriented smartphone experience. They are on the right track track. Zero doubt in my mind. Uh, and, and I know a lot of the alphas in the community love it, but the average person don't, doesn't know about it. Right? They know about other you know, Android manufacturers, because that's what they see in stores. Uh, but OnePlus, for what they've done, I think deserves more attention. So, I've talked a lot, like really about, like, on the whole, it's, it's a good phone. It is a good experience. The one thing the one thing, it's Achilles heel. Like I said, I just installed the latest software update today. And I mean the latest. Like they, It was just freshly released like two days ago. Uh, with all the updates to it and everything. The one thing. And by the way, thank you VT Productions PC for another super chat. Boy, you're a rock star tonight. I wish other manufacturers get on the ball with a 90 hertz. Oh, no doubt. Oh my, once you have it, like, oh, like even with other phones, like 120, I'm like, dream come true. That's, to me, yes, please, 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 it can't be that hard to do. Uh, if the people are, if companies are doing it at that price, it can't be that hard to do at the volume that some of these manufacturers uh, crank things out. It adds to the experience. It, it, it doesn't take, it just fits so perfectly, perfectly. One thing. That, that's one thing I wish I could have. And I say that, it's sitting right here, like, well, why did you switch? I'm not going to say that... It... <sighs> and I know I'm not... I'm probably going to upset some person out there, inevitably. Um, how, do, how do I say this tech, by being technically appropriate? It sucks with photos. Sucks. I think the lens is probably fine. I think the app itself is is fine. So it's not necessarily the camera. It's not necessarily the hardware. But whatever they're doing, that's the one thing. The one thing that I'm sorry is a deal breaker. I updated it. They tweaked it a bit, which means they're on to the you know the fixes, but it still was not even close. Like not even in the same, uh, 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 not even in the same ballpark, not even in the same city, state, country as uh, the output that you get from how a Google Pixel device handles pictures. So again, I don't want to say it's the camera, it's the lens, it's this, it's that. It's just it does not produce good photos. Period. It just doesn't. Flat fact. You know, you can do your own comparisons. Uh, maybe you like what it does. Maybe, as Solidia says, I, uh, uh, I, I'm fine without the camera. It's fine for you. Not fine for me. Not at all. Not even close. So I have no problem recommending it if you don't need to take pictures. I do. And I like them to turn out okay. Or more than okay. And when you are spoiled, and I mean spoiled by the Pixel's experience, not just software, 
Uh, but specifically, the, the pictures and, the, and how it just kind of just goes and works and just... It, like, I, that's where I just, like, forget it. What is it. I don't care necessarily what it looks like. I just don't care. I'm, like, looking at the screen. I'm interacting with that software. That's what I care about. Like, when I take a picture, I don't want to, like, oh, the colors are washed out. I'm like, what the hell? Is, is, am I in a cartoon? What is this? I don't... Ugh. So, I think five years ago, the camera may have done well. Now, not a, I can't... It's just... It's not for me. That's the... And that's, that's what I'm saying it that way. I'm not saying it's not right for you. I'm not saying it's bad for you. I will say empirically, though, they have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, and they are. So that's the thing that, again, I'll go back to OnePlus kind of consistently developing and iterating. They're on the right track. And if they can lick their 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 photo processing problem, I, I, I would consider going. I would, I would consider the move. But as it stands, um, and again, I know I'm not the only one. Now, I will, I will throw this out there as well. Uh, VT Productions PC says, I wish they would use the camera software for Google. So that's the thing, is people have installed it, but you got to do it in a haphazard way. You can't just do it like outright. And the difference between what Google does with its camera app is it's night, literally, night and day. So I know it can't be tied into the hardware because... Different software. Again, let's go to the story. This is my opinion. That's my opinion. Software is so much more important than hardware and specs. Because if you don't have the software, it doesn't matter. If the software can't keep pace. This is a classic example. Just one more example on top of the pancakes of examples. So, (laughs) you could do it if you wanted to go that far. But in my estimation, I shouldn't have to go that far. I don't want to go that far, right? I don't want to do these workarounds. I just don't. I'm too old for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Boy, I'm fitting. That's my second meme that you could gif here. The second one. First one. That's my opinion. And then, ain't nobody got time for that. How about, that's none of my business. Or, how do you do, fellow kids? (laughs) So, I know I'm not cool. For not wanting to use it, but I don't. It's not for me. Not right now. I'll keep looking at it. I'll keep. I, I think they're on the right uh, path, but man, ho oh, ho! You cannot in this day and age. You can't release a phone like this the way they did. So you know, other things that I, I've kind of grown accustomed to the wide-angle selfie cam. I will tell you, that's not a gimmick. It is so usable. I've been able to take shots that I would normally only have to take with a front-facing camera. But with the wide-angle lens, I take it with the selfie camera. I pinch out, or pinch to zoom, and take a better shot with the front-facing camera. So having that wide-angle lens has proven to be helpful for me. Uh, And of course, with with Google software, the notch doesn't effectively exist. You can toggle it in developer options, so it becomes a Uh, non-issue. Is it nice to have all that screen real estate? Sure. Is that everything to me? Absolutely not. Um, The 90 hertz. Wonderful. Is that everything to me? No, because I can't sacrifice a good photo, a -a once-in-a-lifetime photo that my daughter's doing something fun or interesting or silly, whatever, that we capture it, and it just doesn't turn out well. And and I know, well, Chris, you can do post-processing. I'm going to go back to that meme. Ain't nobody got time for that. (laughs) Come on. Dude, let the company do its job. You know, I'm not. They, their eyes on the. Their eye is on this as an issue, and I know it is because I'm, I'm. I'm watching. I'm like, okay, all right. Show me the money. <laughs> but I keep pulling these things out. Um, it's funny. You were so consistent. I used to watch you like ten years ago. I know. This is why I stopped talking about the same things because I kept talking about the same things. Um, I will hammer that point home. Like, ugh. So. My initial impressions were positive, but, uh, yeah, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in trying a million smartphones. I'm just not. It's not me. I don't want to. I'm not a smartphone reviewer. I don't want to be. I'll talk about them, sure, but I, uh, I'm not going to bend over backwards. I'm not going to spend the money. If I get an opportunity, maybe, sure, but not my thing, because I tend to concentrate on other things, you know, with with, with smartphones that other people don't. Um, So, I I hope 
that it continues to improve. Um, there'd be things that I would probably miss from my current Pixel device. Uh, you know, like I said, the front-facing wide-angle lens would be one. Uh, I think Google's implementation of Android is is just as straightforward as OnePlus. Um, I mean, a little more fresh on updates, but OnePlus is, I would say, as close as they can be. Um, so I'm, I, that's not a slag. Uh, but but the the camera, I think, would be the the, the biggest impediment. Um, and this is also something that would take some getting used to. I I like, I guess I like the dimensions of the screen. Maybe I'm accustomed to it, of the uh, of. Uh, of the the pixel device over like a, it just seems like a super like a skyscraper screen like super tall i could get used to it i, I mean I, I don't think that's it's it's not a problem um i i, I like the built-in uh thumb th thumbprint or fingerprint reader genius i i it's great um but it's not i'm not going oh it's such a pain to use right i'm not in virtually any pain um that cannot or has not or will not be addressed with the Pixel series. Could it be better? Absolutely. Should it be better? Absolutely. But it's just not, you know, it's not enough for me. It's not enough. Uh, so, you know, I, I, that's my feelings. Those, those are my first impressions of the um, of the OnePlus 7. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have it around. It's a, it's a great... Uh, uh, secondary device, not necessarily as a backer. I haven't even, like like I said, I haven't like done a full installation of this, that, and the other thing, like set it up like it's going to be my daily driver. I didn't go that far into it because I knew as, as, as soon as I tried the camera, I'm like, <sighs> oh, oh. And it's not just the colors. It's, I mean, there's some weird focal issues and it's like, mm. and I wanted to like it. I, wa I, wanted, I wanted it to be better. I did. I really did. Just like I want iOS to be better, right? I want, I need it, need it to be better. I want, I crave, I crave for it to be better. Because everybody wins. But it's not. Not today. Uh, maybe a year from now. I don't know. But by then, you know, new hardware. So uh, OnePlus, I, I think, has a history with this. With the camera being lackluster. It, that's, that's a no-go for me. No-go. Can't do. Can't do. Pretty much the one thing. And then everything else kind of becomes that secondary thing, like the wide-angle selfie cam or, you know, um, anything else. It's just not enough. That's what I'm saying. The hardware's not enough. Hardware doesn't matter to me. I'm saying it. I've said it before. It just doesn't. I don't care. I'm not that guy. Give me a good software experience on, on, on hardware, and I'm thrilled. Give me a better software experience. I'm thrilled. That's me. And there's good news is like there's so many people in the marketplace that can be served. You can be a hardware enthusiast and be served. Or a software enthusiast and be served. You know, you can be both or neither, right? And be served. It's great to have options. I'm very glad OnePlus is out there providing competition. I, I, I think it's it, it, it needs to be taken more seriously and be given a lot more attention than it's been given. I'm not going to turn into an acolyte for it. But I, then again, I think, I think Google needs to do the same thing with the Pixel. And they haven't done. Um, I'm not their community manager's. This is not, hey, my job, uh, I could give them recommendations, but, you know, ultimately, um, you got to decide for yourself, um, and, and that's, that's, all this is just, it, it's basically, like I said, that's, that, that's my opinion! Um, so there you go. Uh, I guess I'll answer some questions now. Thank you for 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 saying uh, for staying with me. And I do hope you you stick around for our Star Wars stuff, including with three D printing for Heath. Do you see do you see three D printing for Heath? You need to follow him in his channel. He does three D printing stuff. He's printing me some uh, some uh, Darth Vader stuff. I he, he I think we're gonna. He's even gonna let me upload one of the videos he records of the printing process to my channel. So, like, that's because he's 3D printing Star Wars stuff. And I'm like, oh, what's going on? Uh, let's see here. Do I use the Pixel for the camera and sacrifice your care about software? The Pixel 3 is so abysmal with smoothness performance, in my, in my opinion. It, you know, I, I, you know and I'm pretty critical when, when it comes to performance. And maybe it's because of the launcher that I use. But I, I haven't seen, I guess, any jarring performance issues. I mean, maybe by comparison, you know, to, to like a faster device, you could, but it's never been enough of a, of a pain. A reboot quickly fixes certain things, and maybe it's my use cases. Maybe it's what I use the, so uh, the the phone for. Maybe it's the software that I use. I don't know. 
Uh, but um, do, do I use the Pixel for the camera and sacrifice the care about the software? No, I, I, it's a holistic experience. It's everything. It's the updates. It's the software performance for me. It's it's the camera for me, um, which is to me a killer app. The camera is a killer app. It's it's knowing that I'm getting a, a, a as pure of an Android experience as I can. It's it's that I've got a big company at, at, you know behind it. It's 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 a lot of those things combined. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Uh, I like the software experience on the Pixel. That's me. I mentioned I use Action Launcher uh, for my launcher. That's me. I recommend it wholeheartedly. Chris does an amazing job. Amazing job. There hasn't been an update in a while, but he, he does a he does a, a, a pretty spectacular job with it. Uh, you know, there are things that I wish I could improve on the Pixel. Certainly, microphone, right, uh, being one. Um, but not. It's not so, hor- you know, horrible that I can't um, use it for 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 certain needs. Um, but. I don't know. I, I guess for the things that I'm looking for, because I'm sure it's got other widgety doodads and things that you can do with it that you can't do in other devices and launchers. But like, those are the those are my takeaways. Those were my first impressions. Uh, OnePlus's thing is premium performance for low price, breaking the mold, so to speak. They need to get back to that. I think they have premium performance nailed. I do. I just don't think they have a premium experience nailed. And there's a difference. And I think they need to evolve. To, to having a premium experience. And part of that premium experience is perfecting the output of uh, the, the camera apparatus. I, I do. I, I do think that. I think they accommodated the shortcomings of a selfie cam without being behind the glass as, as well as they could. Uh, eventually, you know, we'll look back five years from now and say, how did we deal with notches? How did we deal with these pop-up cameras? But we're not there yet. Um, so I, I can't I can't slag them for their approach, and I won't. I mean, I think it's 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 ample for a lot of people. It's ample. Uh, still have the OG Pixel because of the three point five millimeter headphone jack, the only hardware that matters. See, everyone's got something different. Do I care? No, I didn't. Even, I couldn't even tell if it's got a headphone jack. No, I guess it doesn't. I don't care. I I, I worked around it. I it wasn't. It's never been a bother, or so much of a bother. Like, uh, <laughs> that's me. I, that's that just tells you my first impression. I didn't look. I didn't care. That's me. I didn't say you didn't care. I didn't. So, have you tried the Pixel Three A yet? Cam- camera's just as amazing th- as the Pixel Three. No, I haven't because it's pretty much the s- same as the Pixel Three. So I'm like, I, I get it. It's got a different screen and stuff, but by and large, I will say this about the Pixel Three A. It's got the same experience, which is great. It's all you needed to have. It's the same experience, lesser price. Same experience, general experience. Uh, generally, I mean, there are certainly some you know finer points that that, that are uh, you know different, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, you know I'm I'm hopeful for the next array. Um, I'm happy. I'm I'm satisfied. I'm not gonna say overjoyed, but I am satisfied to the point with the Pixel that I have not I had not been for years with iOS. Uh, to the point where I'm not even looking for an alternative. That that says everything. Like I'm not in so much pain. Like oh, I, I can't do this anymore. Um, there, there's just low friction on the on the Pixel device. I, I some people have had problems. Yes, it's true, and it does have problems. I think Google could be a hell of a lot more transparent with how it fixes those problems too. Uh, but um, yeah, that's that's uh, that's what I feel. That's what I think. I don't care about specs, Moe. Um, I haven't been impressed with iOS 13 because I haven't seen it in person and it's not f- fully polished and you know what I'm looking for in terms of iOS. Uh, this is not really a, a video though about iOS or the iPad OS. I'll talk about it maybe when it's it, in its final, like gold, final release form and whether it's going to be enough. And I'll probably do the same thing even with the, uh, the, the next iPhone too. Um, you know, maybe they will have addressed enough of the software shortcomings that I could stomach a notch and upgrade the iPhone 8 Plus, but I, I don't know if we're there yet. So, gonna make a coffee ready for our Star Wars chat. See, oh, 3D printing with Heath. I already did it. I already did the Star Wars chat. 3D. Oh, I'm sorry. I did it before this video. I did it earlier. I didn't realize you were later. Do I need to do um, 3D printing with Heath? This. Oh God, it's like eight o'clock. It's so hard to pick a time. Six o'clock is way too early for you, though, dude. Um. Maybe I should be shooting for 7 o'clock for the Star Wars Radar videos in the evening time, because it's the only time I can do it. 
7 o'clock work better for you? I'm still, like I said, I'm still navigating those waters. And the, the, the cool thing is, I, I'm sorry, 3D printing with Heath. Um, the cool thing is, see, the, this is funny. On average, we might, like for Star Wars Red Air, we'll have maybe 15 people watching, but the chat is popping. Like, it's constant flow. And right now, we've got 72 people watching, and the chat, I'm not going to say is dead, but comparatively, I've got a very active, very interactive Star Wars community base, even in smaller numbers, and I enjoy those conversations. I enjoy these as well, obviously, because I, I wouldn't be doing it otherwise, but I just know, I just know, like, you know, when you, when you hit on something that you, you love, you, you go with it, and you run with it. That's why I appreciate the people who stuck with me, not for the topics that I covered, but me, and thank you for that. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that, Heath. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I kind of juggled things around tonight, uh, and I shouldn't. I know I gotta. Be, I gotta be way more consistent. But the problem is, is finding a schedule is hard to do. It's very hard to do with a child, uh, you know, and, and a family, and a job, and responsibilities. Not always easy. Uh, shut up! You'll be stone dead in a moment. <laughs> It's Ryan, sorry, I know I'm crossing the streams. You you made a reference to Princess Bride, and I, I pulled a Monty Python uh, out of my hat. Pulled that out earlier. I I did a Monty Python reference Star Wars video, too. <laughs> you did not miss the OnePlus 7 Pro review. This is probably the closest thing I'm going to do to it. So, Thank you for tuning in. I pretty much fleshed out everything. I think we've covered most of the questions, if any, uh, from chat. Uh, I appreciate you guys continuing to tune in. Uh, it's me, and I'm going to be talking about a variety of other topics, you know, through through the future. Uh, I've got some ideas on, on other things that may be more up your alley if you're interested in tech. I don't want to say too much, but in, there's there's something else that's brewing that I'm kind of excited about. But and it does have to do with tech, not Star Wars. <laughs> FYI. Uh, but yeah, I do a daily. Uh, I'm trying to do something daily here in this channel. Doing definitely doing something daily with the Star Wars Radar channel, uh, and 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 I love that. I, it's one of the the things that I look forward to most at the at the uh, for the for the end of the days. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. I love you. I appreciate you. And at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. May the force be with you, always. <laughs>